how y'all doing? Welcome to another stream. This is your friendly neighborhood old bat. Well, I got to feeling a little bit better. Thought I'd go ahead and go live. And here I am. Well, let's go ahead and get to this. I got to feeling a little bit better. Thought I'd go ahead and uh, shoot out a live stream. So let's get started. Let's see what we got today to work with. Looks like Boglum Chronicles has a new one, as well as Merkwood Farm. Let's do Merkwood Farm first. The Oddest Couple winners. Yay! No, they don't have that yet. Corky thinks he's a gatekeeper for libertarians. Let's go ahead and start with that. Hey, Granny Whisperer. Hey, Rancoop. Yeah, no more dope smoking for me. I got, I'm trying to get a good job, so I got to let my system clean itself out, which will take 30 days, and I'm on day two. One thing I'd have noticed is that my gameplay's gotten a lot better. My DPS has gone up tremendously. He showed his thing on stream. He got dick out mad. Hey, Lynette. You saw his penis? Hey, Blue. What'd it look like? You got a screenshot? Send me that shit, bro guy. I don't, I gotta see it. Hey, bro guy, you got me on Discord. Let me friend you real quick. Let me get out of my game. I was going to stop playing for a bit anyway. In game, in game, in game, in game. Come on. Come on. There you go. You know I want to see that shit. Hey, bro, guys, send that stuff to me in a. Send that to me in a DM, dude. He thought he was being cute. Well, that's good. Oh, really? No, send it to me, bro, guy. Hey, send it to me, UPS guy. Oh, man, Carrie, if you've got the screenshot, send it to me. I want it. I fucking want it. I mean, I am dead fucking serious. Uh, Carrie J, 1967. Von Birdo, send it to me. 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 I could use a good laugh. <laughs> No, it's not private. Oh, hell no. Hell to the no. Oh, fuck no. Fuck no, I can't even see it. I can't even fucking see the little thing. 
Hang on, hang on. Damn! Damn! That's a little pecker. That pecker is so little, I can't see it. Damn, Nick. What the fuck, dude? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> damn! It's a wonder his damn channel didn't get nuked. <laughs> yes, it is time! That thing is tiny. I can't even fucking see it. It looks like an any. It sure does. It looks like an any. Fuck me running. Well, Grandpa Irv, in all in all fairness, how many times has he called me an old bitch? How many is he? How many times has he called me incompetent? How many times has he called me stupid? How many times has he called my service into question? How many times has he called my womanhood into question? How many times has he called my marriage into question? How many times has he called everything in my life into question? I mean, Grandpa Irv, I slag on women's private parts just as much as I slag on men's private parts. Sabella's so probably a big box mama, too. <laughs> The way Bruce was describing how he had to hold a dildo to get her off. She a big, big box mama. So both of you turds. Suck it! is a I got to get that off my screen. That is just too much corky. Way too much corky. That is more corky than I wanted to view. But you know what? Me being the shit bag I am, I got to see. I got to see. I'm a shit bag. I am a shit bag. If somebody's going to put their penis out there, I'm going to look at it. I don't care whose penis it is. It could be some 90-year-old man that's a YouTuber that put his peen out there. I'm going to look at it. Fuck with us? <laughs> he more fucked with himself. He played himself on that one. Freddy. Go to the damn naughty corner. Go to the damn naughty corner right fucking now. No, Corky is not not even slightly blessed. I thought you were my battle buddy, Freddy. 
You're my battle. Yes, I do. I I need actually what I need is the Hubble telescope to see that fucking thing. Hey, Hunter. I need the Hubble telescope to see that little thing. And, you know, like I he's so stupid. He's so stupid he don't even know he's stupid. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why you're in the damn naughty corner. You know, and this is what I don't get. I dated a skinny dude for, for a while. This guy was a buck 25 dripping wet. This is why I dated him. He wasn't particularly handsome. He wasn't particularly witty. But he was hung like a bastard mule. So I was going to let him hang around for a little bit. This was back years ago. Yeah, and me being a sergeant, who do you think doled out the P tests? Who do you think did the urine tests for the unit? Who do you think looked at all the beavers to make sure that everybody was peeing directly into the cup? Just making sure the stream goes into the cup here. You can go. <laughs> yeah, I was a meat gazer. Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he was feeling. He must have been feeling himself. He must have been feeling himself. And I'm sitting there. And, uh, you know, it's just like, it's just like when they pee, I'm just like, no, you got, I got to watch go directly from the urethra into the cup. Yeah, you do. They do randoms, granny. And I'm the unfortunate soul that was the only sergeant that was female that could do the random tests. Oh, we just looked at Corny, Corky's penis and we're laughing at it. And I'm getting ready to start a video. Yeah, they do randoms, Granny. They do them all the time. What's in that damn testosterone? Fucking... PCP or something? As, oh, you know what? Now, I'm self-aware. I'm going to stop this right now and tell you I'm self-aware. I'm aware of what I look like. I know what looks good on me and what does not look good on me. Now, I know from about here up, I look pretty good. From here down is from, from about the boobs down... I look like a mess. I'm not going to sit here in a fucking half tube top and skin tight leather pants and try to entertain you. That would be gross. Until I lose weight. And get back into shape. Oh, and I went for a walk today. Wanted to share that. I went for the walk today. Yeah, that too, little Miss Stubborn. 
Thank you, Hunter. And, you know, I know better than to make a laughing stock. I, I know better than to make myself a laughing stock. I know better than to make myself a laughing stock. Yeah, more than likely, Pulse. More than likely. You know how that shit works? It's all our fucking fault because he acts the fucking fool. I wear sunglasses all the time. I tell you what, AK, come on in, sit down, make yourself comfy, and enjoy the show. So nobody has to look, look me in the eye, because I'm kind of a bitch. I don't want to be looked in the eye, because they'll see that I'm a fucking liar and a coward and a pussy. You're a liar wow. and a coward and a pussy. Wow, Nick. Nice to see you tell the truth for once. <laughs> Even though it's taken out of context. But anyway, um, I think he's talking about somebody from the geek room or something. But anyway, um, yeah, Corky made this video, but never mentioned me in the video. Mentioned me in the title. Something about me and uh, Bruce and Rabbit Old Bat conducting a sex act. You know, he's done that to me. Like, this is like third or fourth Thank time he's done that. Other times I mentioned it was me, Blue, and Grampy Lobster, uh, me and Von Heltman and Blue, I think he did. Uh, <laughs> yes, buddy. That's Thor, he telling me. And before anybody thinks that I'm going in too hard on Nick, hard on. <laughs> hard on. <laughs> um... Y'all keep in mind all the shit that he has fucking pulled up until this point. The fucked up shit that he has said about me. He has gone so far as saying in a stream that me, my husband, Darren, and his wife were all going to go on a cruise together and swap. He took the video down. Or I'd have a fucking field day with it. He has called me a whore. So many times. So many times without any fucking proof. Any fucking proof. And you know what? I think it's a little whorish that Sabella threw herself at another man just jumping out of one jumping out of one man's bed and jumping into another. I think that's a little whorish. You really want to know the fucking truth. Yeah, you know, Thor the dog of thunder. Anyway, if you want to see Thor, go to my other channel, Merkwood Farms. And uh, maybe that's who is Thor. This is Thor. Where is Thor? Oh, get up here. You getting heavy. What are you eating? Bricks? Mm, damn my knees. There's Thor. Say hi to everybody, Thor. We're going to talk about Nick Bravo. You want to talk about Nick Bravo? You do? Okay. That's Thor. He's a blue healer, border collie mix. He's my wife's dog. My dog's an Australian Shepherd. No, AK, we're, anyway, not, we're not yelling at you. Oh, you got to see Blue. Or not Blue. That's not Blue. That's Thor. You got to see Thor. Blue is my turkey and my friend that lives in Ohio. But um, 
besides the point. Um, the video, the video. If you look on his channel, it's on there. It's just stupid. He he always comes up with. He thinks it's funny. I guess he should know that nobody laughed the other times he did it. So, <laughs> you know, he doesn't get a clue. He thinks he's you know, a comedian. He's not. <laughs> if he ever became a comedian, he'd starve to death. Um, but I'm going to take some ex excerpts from this video and talk about those. It was like an hour long video. No, it was 20, well, right 20 some place. minute video. But We only yell at the lulls cows here. We don't yell at each other. We only yell at the lulls cows on the screen. We don't yell at each other. It's not tolerated. If anyone does it. You can ask anyone here. I've gotten on everyone. everyone at one time or another and i like to make a safe environment i like to make a fun environment and just join in the laughs with the rest of us just see him run his mouth i'm gonna go let the dog out you watch this uh, part of it though is gonna be the well, enjoy zone enjoy the show where are you going to move? Huh? You know, anywhere you go, there's going to be a long waiting list for public housing like you got. So, uh, anywhere you move, where are you going to stay in while you're on that waiting list? Huh? It could take years. In some cases, a decade to get Section 8 housing. Um, you might as well stay where you're at because you ain't going nowhere unless you want to live in a tent. Because have you seen what what's going on in the cities t today? Los Angeles, San Francisco. You can't go to those places. California is off limits to you. Um, Houston, Atlanta. Good for you, Tina. Um, many other places. New York City, there's the home, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, they're, they're full of homeless now. People can't afford to pay rent in these places, and they're forced to live out on the streets. And you're, you're going to go move somewhere without a plan. You and Sabella are going to live on the streets. Okay, because that's what's going to happen. You ain't got no plan. You ain't got no money saved up. And... And even if you did move somewhere, you know, you wouldn't get a Section 8 housing. So where are you going to live? Uh, the thing of it is, there's a lot of people who want to become, who want to call themselves libertarians because they think it's going to give them an excuse to behave badly. I know this is a poke at me and uh, Dapperton because you don't like the fact that we're libertarians. You know what? I don't have a political party. I vote for who I think will do the best job at the time. I belong to the Nunez party. It's Nunez business who I vote for. We don't talk about politics and uh, we don't debate religion in here. We, we, we respect each other's fucking boundaries and we don't, we just don't cross that line. Nobody gatekeeps anything here. And Corky gatekeeps a lot of, Gate keeps uh, the libertarian ideology, or he used to. And he thinks that, and you know what? He even said, I use my veteran status as a shield. I hardly ever mention the fact that I'm a veteran. I sometimes talk about some of the stories and things. but I don't use it as a shield against bad behavior. If I behave like a bitch, it's because I'm behaving like a bitch. And earlier, whenever I was talking about Corky's micropene being, needing the Hubble telescope to see it, was me being a bitch. That's an example. Because you think you are. 
you're not a libertarian. You're the one with your hands out to the government. You're sucking on the government's teeth. You're no libertarian, Nick. You think it should be illegal for people to talk about. I don't know, Pulse. You're the opposite of a libertarian. Me and Mr. Dapperton are libertarians. I'm a libertarian. You know why I'm a libertarian? Because it matches my values. You could be a Democrat or Republican. If it matches your values, be what you are. I'm more independent than anything, but, you know, I'm not even registered as a libertarian because I don't think they do that here in Alabama. Colorado is registered as a libertarian. I even ran for uh, state House of Representatives in Colorado under the Constitution Party, which is basically the Christian version of uh, libertarians. Um, you know, but uh, I digress. I'm a libertarian, and you're just going to deal with it, Nick, and it isn't because I think I can get away with shit. I'm not doing anything wrong. Calling you on your bullshit isn't wrong. Anything I've ever done concerning you isn't wrong, and doesn't doesn't, and neither would uh, Mr. Dapperton either. That's another thing. We're going to take our computers with. We're going to take different stuff with. We're also going to take some food with because um, there are certain things. The grocery stores are probably hey, coffee artist. Be, uh, pretty fucking thinned out because of all the people going to see the eclipse. And um, it's one of those things. It's like uh, Wheat's the art. whole thing is supposed to take uh, hours and hours and hours. And it's just like, I hate the word moist. We have this thing called a naughty corner. It's more of a VIP section, really. You are now going to the naughty corner. Go hang out with Freddie. Uh, the actual eclipse, actual eclipse itself is going to take like four and a half minutes, but when it's, you know, centered, um, but the, the going over, that's going to take like three hours. So I don't know. I think it's going to take three hours anyway. So, uh, so Nick is going to see the solar eclipse. I he say he's going to. Light up the uh, room with hashtag warm body. We've got enough people in here for that. Hashtag warm body. Then when you're done with that, hashtag micro peen. In Mexico, he's an idiot, says he's going to Tijuana to see it. Well, the eclipse isn't even going over Tijuana. And you can't get to Tijuana from Texas. I mean, you want to navigate the... Mexican roads. Um, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> you go through some dangerous country back in there if you're going to traverse across Mexico, idiot. And I don't think you have the good sense to do that. You definitely don't. I wouldn't do it. And I know you couldn't do it. I'm, I'm a former truck driver. I've driven in every single state in the United States in the lower 48. I've actually driven in Mexico not as a truck driver on a motorcycle, but, uh, you know, you, you're an idiot. Now some friends helping you out with the place to stay. So you got all planned that you're going to go. Well, for one, yep. let, let me give you some two pieces of advice. Uh, if you decide to, you know, you're going to go see it. Just look at the eclipse with your naked eye. You improved it. You'll get a better view of it because sunglasses will darken it a little bit. So, don't you know, and if you do use sunglasses, get the cheap ones from the convenience store. Uh, don't buy those, you know, special sunglasses. You don't need them, Nick. Just look straight into the eclipse. The other, this is more serious, is you're going to drive there with your brakes going out. Everybody is going to see the eclipse except for me. <laughs> well, we have Freddie and Wheat's art in the in the naughty corner. Who else? Who else wants to go to the naughty corner today? Who else wants to go to the naughty corner? I know this ain't a bad after dark, but we still have a naughty corner. Now, a lot of people. So the whole pathway 
of the eclipse is going to be traffic jams. No hotels. You know, I guess you already got your place set up. Where are you going to stay? Ten hours to get there, you said. Um, I wouldn't. You're not experienced enough to drive ten hours straight. As a truck driver, that's the very, very limit to um, okay, driving. Okay, you have a great one. Uh, it may have changed because it always changes all the time. All right. I got to sing it. I got to sing Nine it. Nine hours. I got to sing it. 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 Eeny, weeny, teeny, weeny, shrivel a little short dick. Man, don't want, 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 no. Teeny, weeny, eeny, weeny, shrivel a little short dick. Man, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. That's what they tell you to drive as a truck driver because you need uh, the extra well, that's time good, to get okay. I'm glad. to your parking spot. The truck drivers always always have a plan to where they're going. You don't have a plan. You're probably just going to turn on the GPS on your phone and watch that while you're going down the road and then rear yes. end somebody. Yes, we are, all my mirrors. Cause yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are making fun of his lack of manhood. You got <laughs> Usher Warfield might made a joke once about penises. This this is peni. Pinum Benito. It's Benito. We've seen your driving habits. You have really bad driving habits. You and Sabella are in danger. You got bad brakes going out. You have bad driving habits. And you're going into where it's going to be a little crazy because everybody's trying to get there to see the eclipse. That's why I'm not going. I thought about going, but I should have planned it a year ago if I was going to go. Uh, there's no hotel rooms along the path. Yeah, we got we got people from out of town coming into our area because we got 100% blackout for the total eclipse. We got all kinds of people coming into our town. All kinds. It's about the only reason you'd come here. You know, it's just a small town. It's going to be a big uptick in revenue. From what I hear, <clears throat> it's going to be traffic jams. Any city that's on the eclipse is just going to be one big traffic jam. The interstates are going to be slow because a lot of people are on them. And you're, yeah, you're, well, you're going to take up 45 down through Kansas, probably, which is a toll road. Well, that's cool, uh, okay. Once you get near Wichita, all the way down through Oklahoma City. Now, now, you little pay Sabella, tolls to be on that road. Hope you plan for that. I'm not going to fault Nick for having a hairy back. My man has a hairy back. I like it. I like a hairy man. Nick's not that hairy, really. His hair is wispy. I don't like wispy hair. I want her. On a man. I want a hairy back and a hairy chest. 
I want her. You know, it's in testosterone. Ugh. You know, a man. You know, a man. He ain't got to be tall. He ain't got to be particularly good looking. He just got to be a man. But I happen to get tall and good looking. With big, gorgeous green eyes. He's got the most gorgeous green eyes I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. He does. That probably didn't. Um, and if you want to avoid the tolls, you don't know how, how to navigate enough to avoid them. Oh, maybe there's a feature on your phone to avoid tolls. Maybe. Um, you know, going to go through Kansas, going to go through Oklahoma. You better not speed through Kansas because they'll get your ass in Kansas. Uh, state Kansas state troopers don't mess around. And you were running from the law the other day. <laughs> you know, like, that was all about. I don't want to assume anything, so I just won't. But I know you were hiding from the cops the other day. So, you know, cop, Kansas cops. You know, just today, when I was walking or taking my walk, the star, the the sky got dark. It did, and I saw this big ass shaped cloud, and these two big pendulous things come out of the sky that had baloney sized nipples on them. It was no eclipse. It was Shanny. She gone outside. They were hosing her down. Cops are gonna be watching. They love seeing people with out of state plates come through their state. You know, they, they do. I got family in Kansas, so I know. So, coffee. You you're know, pretty. You're gorgeous. I don't watch it. If I didn't think so, I know I you're excited about going, and now your brakes going out, and that sucks. But you might be able to get your brakes fixed, and you better look at into it. Too bad you don't have any friends. I mean, you can find a friend that can put new pads on for you, <laughs> but you don't have any friends. Um, I don't you mess know with what? brakes. I've been shown how to do it. You know what, Coffee? You're still an attractive woman. You're still an attractive woman. You're nothing like Sabella, Shani, and their ilk. And thank God for that. You're not unfortunate looking. If you were, I would treat you like you're an unfortunate looking person and just be polite. There are definite, dif definitely different words and phrases I use for unattractive people. I avoid the con I'll avoid the conversation completely or change the subject. I wouldn't concentrate on telling someone that they have a pretty face or lovely hair or telling them that they're attractive at all. I don't lie. When have you known me to lie? I don't. That's just it. I put, you know, I had the old old school card that had the expanding boots, I think they called them. You know, newer cars have a disc brakes, so they have pads. I, I haven't replaced I heard they're easier to replace than the old school ones. I've I replaced brakes on a car before. It's a friend standing over my shoulder the whole time. Yeah, do this. Uh, make sure you disconnect that spring and then put that spring here so you don't lose it. That's important. You know, unscrew this, unscrew this. Pull oh, it out, my God. Screw it back, put the new one in, screw it back in, put the spring back. I It's been no, like two decades since I've done that, but I've done that. Um, you haven't because you don't have any skills because you're just, you're a gimp. A simp. You know what, Carrie? 
This is a stream to let it all out. Go for it, girl. Be, be a mini me. Be a mini me for a night. It's, it's liberating. It truly is. You're a simp. Whatever a simp is, I don't even know what a simp is. I know it's a bad thing they call some guys. So Simply in pursuit of mediocre pussy. That's what simp means. Simply in pursuit of mediocre pussy. So technically, my husband isn't a simp. Because I'm not mediocre. I'm not top shelf, but I'm not mediocre. Sabella is mediocre. No, she's less than mediocre. Saban it's a Shani is less than mediocre. Hey, you want to see two of my pets? Two of my two of my pets that I have on my hunter. One is a purple hippopotamus, and the other one is a um, is a stegosaurus that's got lightning coming out of it. They're all they're both huge creatures. The purple hippopotamus I named Sabella. The stegosaurus I named Shani, and I hunt with them both. I just thought it was appropriate. I'll call you a simp. Anyway, I called you something. I don't even know what it is. Just like you call pe uh, people. Pulse Defiance just you call just other Christians? five memberships. Pulse of Defiance just gifted five memberships. Thank you so fucking much. Thank you very much, Pulse of Defiance. Uh, whoever got those uh, memberships, be sure to thank Pulse. Um, uh, thank you for your support of the channel. I sure appreciate it. That's awesome of you. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you so much for your generosity. It's much appreciated. Thank you, Pulse. And these, and these two creatures are gargantuan. If you saw and if you saw the back end of the rhinoceros, you'd understand why I picked it to be Sabella. That you don't like. Oh, you call them. Calvinist and you don't even know what a Calvinist is and you allegedly have a degree in religious studies and you don't even know what a Calvinist is I mean how pathetic is that now Corky has accused me of being a Calvinist on more than one occasion I'm not a Calvinist I don't sentence people to hell golly you're dumb Anyway, this is another important to that. If you get into an accident because of your That's brakes, cool, okay. even if you get into an accident, not even because of your brakes, really cool. people are going to stop in front of you. We know you watch your phone all the time. You're going to be talking to Sabella. You're not going to be paying attention. You're going to slam into the back of somebody. Or you realize, oh, shit, you hit your brakes and you ain't got enough brakes to stop in time. <laughs> And you're going to go down all the way through Texas, all the way through Oklahoma, Kansas, and, and Texas, all the way down to the Mexico border. I also have two worms. I'm going to get another worm and name it Nick. But I have two worm guys that, do, that, that are pets. I name one Jason and one Josh. You don't know how to drive worth a shit. And 
you got bad breaks. As you don't want to pay the hundred dollars and sixty that cost to fix them. Well, how much is it going to cost you when you ran into slam into somebody, and you had you've already mentioned on your YouTube channel you made videos out there that people got copies of, where you said that your brakes are going out, but you can't afford to fix them because you got your trip. You're just going to play it by ear. Well, what if you ran into a family of children? Well, a family of children. <laughs> uh, a family with children in their little station wagon or a minivan. And they're all excited about seeing the eclipse. And here comes Nick and Sabelle. Slam! Right into the back of them. I saw your penis, Nick. I saw your penis. I saw your penis. I saw your penis. And it's little, too. That little thing. Oh, poor little feller. Yeah, I understand why you're so grouchy now. You got a little penis. You just got a little penis. That's your problem. And I didn't see any testicles either. Hey, Nick. I got a couple balls. Want them? Open up your bag, stitch them in. Good to go. Huh? Cause their minivan to flip over and little baby toddler comes flying out the window and gets smashed. And you're going to go to prison because you knew your brakes were bad. That's right. Yeah. You go to prison for that. If you kill somebody and you knew your brakes were bad, in which you know they're bad, everybody knows that watches your videos knows your yeah, brakes it are does. bad. Pink Floyd rule. And you wreck into somebody. You think I'm going to keep my mouth shut? I'm not. I'm going to tell my wife. My wife is a is a medical adjuster for a major insurance company. And she'll know what to do with that information. You know, Corky, if you rear in somebody with them bad fucking breaks, you're going to be sued into non-existence. You will. I mean, you don't have nothing, but... You will. You'll be sued into non-existence. Even a shitbag like me knows that. You don't go around with bad breaks. I'll show her the video <laughs> of you saying your brakes are bad. And you know something else? If you want to walk, if you want to drive around with a car with a bad motor, that's one thing. That's on you. You want to drive around with a car that's got a safety issue. That's a totally different uh, kettle of fish. Don't bring others down with you. You can't afford to fix them, but you went ahead and traveled anyway. So think about that, Nick. And those of you watching, back me up on that one. Um, Nick said his knew his brakes were bad. So when he kills somebody, he can go back to prison. And he can piss himself again. And you know what, Pulse? When I knew my front end was bad and that my brakes had to be worked on, guess what I did? I saved my money and got my front end and brakes done. Our brakes were still working, but they needed to be done. And no, they weren't grinding, but I knew they needed to be repaired. I didn't wait until they were grinding metal on metal. I had a nest egg saved up, 
And that's what paid for the breaks. I keep a nest egg for emergencies. The nest egg paid for my transition, trans, paid for my transmission. The nest egg paid for my front end, and the nest egg paid for paid for the roof, for the yeah, um, the the, the um, deductible on the roof. It helps to have a nest egg. I keep one. I should keep more. And I'm going to find another way to rat hole money. But what if you kill Sabella next to you? Do you care enough about Sabella to make sure you got good brakes when you get on the highway? Huh? Because if if you leave without getting those brakes fixed, you don't give a shit about Sabella. She's just a piece of ass for you. So take that to the bank, bitch. malfunction the bitch was naked in the shower there was no wardrobe malfunction you lying son of a bitch oh where are my fucking manners hi Corky hi Sabella how you doing I saw your, your man's pain it's tiny he ain't getting you off with that I bet you have to run through your fucking dildo collection before you can get off huh Cause I know he ain't getting down there and eating it. Hey Rudolph, how you doing? How you doing, Naughty Rudolph? Now, y'all be sure to take. Now, Black Onion's got a poll for the for the oddest couple. Some polls out. Be sure to take these polls because I want to. I want to see some. I want to see some action. I want to see who gets the Golden Hot Dog Award this year. It's springtime and love is in the air. You know, baby birds, baby rabbits, uh, baby chickmunks, and baby Well, I'm glad he bears. loves his body because I sure Spring don't. Springtime is for love. Springtime is for couples. Springtime is for romance. And that's why I've started the springtime poll. I've picked... Grandpa Irv, if small dick energy was a, was a person... It would be Nick Bravo. If small dick energy were a person, it would be Nick Bravo. Period. Three couples. Stabby and Corky. Um... John Kachala and Von Helton, um, Rev and Shani, and Cobes and Jessica. 
three or four of the biggest Lowell's cow couples out there. So this spring, let's spring into comedy. I'm doing a poll. And that poll will lead to a show where we will reveal the winners in each category. There are 10 categories to choose from. So please vote on all 10 polls if you can. There's probably some you can't decide. I'm sure of that. But if you can decide, pick your favorite couple. It's in the community tab. Now. I am in no way in support of Jason. In no way. But compared to Corky, Jason's got big dick energy. Let that sink in. Jason is actually more masculine than Corky. He at least isn't a simpering fool. He's just a fool. On this channel. Gary gifted uh, one membership. Enjoy, and I, we're, I'm membership. planning a great... Thank you, Carrie, for gifting a membership. If you get a membership from Carrie or Pulse of Defiance, please thank them. Thank you so much, Carrie. I sure appreciate that. Thank you for your continued support of my channel. You guys are awesome. Oh, my God. Man. Pulse of Defiance, Carrie, take a bow, man. Celebration of spring. And see which Lowell's Cow couple comes out winning. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Raiders got a new one. Shanny the helpless mother. No, I... I need to get a wheelchair. I really need to get a wheelchair. Before Shani laid her way into Jason's life, before let's have a let's have a round of applause for Nick's uh, little penis. It's given us so much joy this evening. A round of applause for uh, Nick's tiny penis. It's given us so much, so many laughs this evening. Nick's tiny penis, take a bow. Or they met in person, she must have sat there and just analyzed and studied everything about Jason so that she could get in there and manipulate Jason into this whole fake Christian marriage like it's real, you know, to try to convince Jason that he's now the father of the kids. They got kids calling him dad. He's calling them sons just so Shady can hand off responsibility to him, you know, so that he'll take care 
stream for what? She just lays around. In <laughs> she hit me sick. I just pushed that fucking car. I don't want to show you my asshole. <laughs> So, you guys, chosen, have you have no excuse not to make my members on nice screen Sunday. Oh, thank no you. excuse. You were looking at the other day. Yeah, yes, last night. Yeah, last night you did like my asshole, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, ironic slow clap is what I'm asking for. Woo! He is one dirty, sick fuck to put his mouth anywhere near her nether regions. It's gray. I'm sorry. You know, me being bisexual... I've seen a few punanis. If I'm getting ready to go to bit, get get down and go and uh, get go to town, and I see a gray punani, I'm getting up, putting my fucking clothes on, and leaving. I'm saying, bitch, why did you? No, bitch, no. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. Let's watch this one. I am absolutely appalled you know, by Jim. And you know what? You absolutely look like Gollum here. Mount of racism in the comment section of Tim's last few videos. People making fun of Tim. Uh, the way he talks, the way he looks, the way he, I mean, you know, as some of you may or may not know, Tim is African American and that really should be apparent. Um, it should be obvious to anybody who watches his videos and the amount of abuse that, I mean, You know, Tim is a good friend. He's a very good friend, but I have never seen him uh, endure this kind of racist treatment. So it, it's just yeah, it's it's just another showing of just how. You know what? If I was to flash my tits on cam, my my shit would be would be down the next day down not demonetized not suspended taken down corky shows his micropene his video gets taken down where's the justice a morally bankrupt um uh, my haters are that they're gonna sit there and harass one of my best friends.
simply because he happens to be African American. Okay. I mean, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I mean, what, your clan meeting's not doing it for you? You got a troll YouTube looking for African Americans to pick on? Wow. It's truly, truly pathetic. Hey guys, some of you were probably wondering, Nick, why were you uh, at the mall today spending more money? Well, that's a very good reason. Number one, that uh, that uh, laptop that I have, that Happy Happy gave me, basically that's on its last legs. Uh, so I had to take it to Best Buy. Okay. So they could send it back because it's still under warranty. Hopefully it'll get fixed. If not, uh, that's fine because I have a new laptop, a more powerful laptop. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, you know, I just couldn't help myself buying some more clothes because not that I'm going to spend a whole bunch more money on clothes, but. It's been such a long time since I've bought new clothes and I've had money for new clothes. Dang, it feels good. It feels really good. Uh, anyway. You know what, Corby? I buy new stuff all the time. With the money I went into a war zone to get. And soon I'll have a good paying job. Hopefully. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And guys, it's day two without weed. Have y'all noticed any difference? Because I have. I'm a lot more alert. That's one thing I've noticed. And I'm starting to get a lot more motivated. I'm starting to feel my motivation. I've got the coat in the bag. I've got other stuff that I've got. I've bought, bought a couple of shirts, socks, dress socks, because I'm done wearing work clothes, t-shirts, and uh, that kind of thing. I'm Carrie, I'm becoming a bad influence on you. Wow. Brutal, and I love it. Keep it coming, girl. Keep it coming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically start dressing a heck of a lot better from now on. Also, I have to get my teeth fixed. Also, uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually having a pretty good weekend. You know, I'm kind of dehydrated, though, because of... Um, uh, I'm still, you know, I got to tell you, I mean, sleeping outside for two, what was I, how long was I out there by Best Buy waiting to buy that TV? I mean, it was worth it, but I'm really not sure if I'm going to do it again. I'm, I'm just not sure simply because, I mean, right now I still do not have the apartment. Monday, I'm going to go look for one. And uh, welcome to the dark side. We have cake. Hopefully by sometime next week, I'll be in the process of moving in to my apartment and, uh, you know, getting the teeth fixed and working on that. And I mean, the teeth fixed, that's, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm really, really happy that I have money now. Now you may be wondering, Nick, how did you get all that money? And I'm going to say, answer you truthfully, none of your damn business, because it's not. Uh, what I find fascinating is that some of my uh, some of my critics, they're desperately trying to befriend me because they're like, oh, Nick, we were really your friends. I'm going to cross the street really fast. 
<laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's other critics are showing clothes don't buy money, good looks, or class. It doesn't. You have none of those things. Or you wouldn't have shown your peen on camera. You know, you two probably felt sorry for you because it was so damn small. An amount of jealousy that really just uh, trumps anything else that they've ever done. And it's just... Uh, it's kind of funny, actually, how jealous they are. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, it's really fascinating, you know, all that behavior on their part. So, yeah, I've had a pretty good weekend. Uh, tomorrow, I will be on the computer doing stuff so that I can uh, get the new computer up and running. And uh, I'm loving, loving this iPhone. The car one? Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm still pretty tired. I mean, <laughs> I got to tell you, sleeping on a tent for two days, it was not fun at all. But, you know, I, I'm still glad I got the TV. Glad I got all the other stuff. I mean, the only reason that I bought this, bought the clothes that I did was because it was on sale. Uh, bought a couple of dress shirts. They had dress socks, real cheap, really, really cheap. Uh, so it was one of those buy one, get one, like half price or something. So they were really cheap. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, my life is going, getting better and better. And I'm really, really happy about that. So, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm sorry if some of you don't have money to go shopping like I do because I know some of you probably want to see me you know working as a ditch digger or something but you know what that is just not gonna happen okay Nick's got a couple and we're gonna cover them So let's go to let's hop over to Nick's and see what he got. Other than uh, just masses and masses of stupidity. Oh, he's live again. Who gives a shit? Let's watch. So, um, I, I want to talk a little bit about tonight's uh, supposed wardrobe malfunction. And your little dick. Uh, 18 minutes. Okay, we'll go over that as soon as we're done with this one. Yeah, this is the newest one. Here's the thing. My intention tonight was just because I'm <laughs> bored and I just felt like it. I decided to do a <clears throat> a shaving and shower video, which that's fine. Do a shaving and shower video. And now doing that shaving and shower. I shower.
nasty bastard. What is happening in stream? Yikes. Anyway, well, and the thing of it is, is like, it was not my intention, uh, and I do not think I did. I do not believe that I actually showed anything uh, of my body that was inappropriate by uh, the standards of good taste, by YouTube's uh, community standards. Now, I do love my body. He doesn't. Other he people doesn't. don't have to love my body. Uh, it's not their body. It's mine. And I decided to sit in the shower. I actually wanted, uh, you know, feedback on my singing. Uh, I got a little bit of that, but I mean, it sounded like a, a Latin hymnal. You know, that's, that's good. That's very nice. Uh, but it was not my intention to uh, offend or upset anyone. And I certainly, certainly uh, did not intend on showing any, uh, anything that was inappropriate. And well, you did. Well, you really didn't because... Let's face it, your penis was so small, I could barely see it. And the soap bubbles hit it, and you got no balls. No balls. When I look at a twig and berries, I like to see something hanging. A ball with a couple of nice set of balls. It's good to see that your penis is just as disappointing as the rest of you. And although I do not believe I did, um, apparently somebody reported my video at the 13 minute mark some somewhere around 13 13 20 13 minutes and 20 seconds apparently i don't know if anything showed i would assume not however um i do admit the camera angle was pretty low um your penis is so small you probably pissed sitting down You do. You pee sitting down. Like a girl. I bet you were supposed to be a girl at birth. So maybe when I was getting out of the shower, uh, y'all you know, might have seen some pubes. I, I don't know. I don't know what anybody's seen. But, you know, uh, it was not my intention to show anything. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw anything. I'm not going to comment on um, if there was anything to see. Because I don't think there was. And it's like, okay, if somebody got a glimpse. Eeny weeny, eeny weeny, short dick man. Don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want no one. Eeny weeny, teeny weeny, short dick man. Don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want. So that, so, and, what's the point? I mean, who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, and the thing was, I was not trying to show anything like that. Hitler has I was just, uh, I wanted to sit on the shower, very which I did. Something similar. Well, and snowballs at all. You know, I, I wanted thoughts on my singing. Um, I don't think it's technically. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing uh, a live stream in the shower. Um, but you know. <coughs> I was not uh, doing anything untowards in the shower. Um, but I mean, I can understand why. You can't play with your dick because your dick doesn't. S well, I don't know. I don't know. You got an itty bitty packer, dude. Some people would think that because, you know, like I like. Like the title said, there's a lot of creepers watching me. There's a lot of perverts here on YouTube. The picture is already circulating. Well, then send me one because I'd like to see what you're all are talking about because I don't think I accidentally showed anything. But if I did, I did. And I'm not going to sit there and, you know, am I supposed to be ashamed of it? Am I supposed to, like, cower under a rock and go, oh, no, I'm such an awful person. I don't care. It's like we're all adults. We're all adults here. And we either have penises or we have vaginas. And uh, I'm not going to be ashamed of mine. Although I didn't intend to show anything. And I don't want to show anything. And I'm not going to show anything. Um, but if something, if something did show and people were offended by that, then I, I do apologize because that was not my intention. My intention was to sing in the shower. And I do have swim trunks. So next time that I decide to sing on the shower, I'll uh, do it wearing swim trunks. But that, you know, I, I think maybe that'll help. And uh, yeah. But see, here's the thing. You know, I love my body. I love my body. Sabella loves my body. I love Sabella's body. You know, yeah, there's a few things I'd like to change about my body. Um, but that's going to come with time. If he was to go into a plastic surgeon, this is what the plastic surgeon would say. Hold on to your love notes. It's time. Oh, That's going to come with, you know, diet, exercise, all this other stuff. But I'm not going to be ashamed of my body. Uh, yeah, I've got to go pick up Sabella. And, uh, you know, I, I may get chewed out tonight. I don't think so, but because she's not that type. But um, although I, I do have to wonder why, what, what's possessing me to do... Uh, videos half naked i you know that that is that is uh i mean is that my effort to get like subscribers i do not know maybe i know when we go on vacation uh we're going to be doing a lot of live streaming possibly um because it's just you know it's vacation it's fun and we want to do some live streaming not everything not all the time I'm mean, yeah. going to be up there for. Uh, this is what it's going to be like at the at the Corky household. Nick, you've been bad. You've been very bad. Get out, Luther. No, no, not Luther. Yes, Luther. Okay. I kind of like Luther anyway. Okay, Gork Corky. Grab your ankles. There's not going to be any lube this time. Uh, about a week. And, uh, you know, we're going to be up there about a week. And we are going to try to visit quite a few haunted places in Abilene. Uh, but, you know, the thing with it is, is like, 
you just want to do some like normal things and show normal things on video. And the thing it is, is like we went to Comic Con last week, and you know nobody showed up in the live stream. Not one person. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean it's gotten like 75, 80 views or something, but nowhere near what like other pic other videos do. One of the things I've noticed is if I if I do pictures of Gracie, then you know people will watch this stuff. But you know, at no time, uh, clear out some of the heat. There we go. At no time did I intend. <clears throat> at no time did I intend to show uh, anything that would have uh, violated YouTube community standards. Now, I was cutting it close. I was definitely cutting it close, and maybe something did show. Uh, my email, if you want to message me about it or show me whatever, send me the link. <laughs> I'll find something that equates to his penis about about his size. This. About up to here. The last joint of my pinky. That's as big as your penis is. The last joint of my pinky. You ain't satisfying nobody with that. I know it is. You know what? If you know how to use your penis, no matter, just about no matter what size you got, you can satisfy a woman. Penis size is very unimportant. Because I've seen guys that have got big penises that just don't know what the hell they're doing. And I've seen some guys with little penises that really know what they're doing. So that's a myth. Corky's got nothing to work with. He's got nothing to work with. He doesn't even have a good personality to work with. He's got a shitty personality to work with. And he wants to say, I got a shitty personality. Hey, bum number one. Oh, he ain't in here. I'm in, I'm at Nick's. Um, He's selfish, self-centered. And you know what? If he had a good personality, he'd be able to get women. But he doesn't. He's got a he's got a malignant little personality to go along with that that tiny penis of his. And that that wadded up chewed bubblegum body of his. <clears throat> Either, you know, my email is on my channel. It's heartoftherebel at gmail.com. Just email me the link so I can see what it is. And I'm not reading chat for a reason. There is a very large truck yep, behind me. Like that. Oh my <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, Trying to get I've never seen one that size on my mirrors, but if a guy had a little penis, he had good he had a good oral sex game. Something. If you've got if you've got good pussy eating skills, that can make up for it too. I mean, I hate to be graphic. If you can eat pussy, that makes up for it. I 
I could definitely make up for it. But something tells me he can't do that either. And I apologize to the ladies in the audience for my graphic, for my graphic talk. Um, I was in the military for 11 years and I've been around a bunch of guys and, you know, we would have frank discussions about sex. We would, we would talk about all kinds of things and not necessarily that they were trying to get in my pants. You know, they would, we would just have frank discussions about it. You know, they would ask my advice or, you know, want to know something. So I would discuss it with them. But I, I do apologize if I did show something. I do apologize to those of you who were offended. Exactly all my members. I know people are going to be sitting there making fun of the size and shit like that if something did show. Uh, you know, size really doesn't matter that much, people. Um, somebody's messaging me, but I think <laughs> yeah, okay. so, yeah. I've just got to, um, in a while. But I, I will definitely be more careful in the future if I do any more videos. Um, that are questionable. I will be wearing, you know, basketball shorts or something. Um, anyway. Then I, I know some people are probably sitting there thinking, uh, he wasn't just singing in the shower. He was uh, doing such and such. <clears throat> I, I promise you, uh, when I... I don't think he was doing that. I don't think he was doing that. But I think that the testosterone has made him bold. Todd Malicote says, don't just stream yourself in the shower for fuck's sake. Grow up. I happen to agree with Todd Malicote on this one. And I don't agree with Todd Malicote on much. Especially when it comes to Carrie. I have, uh, when I have the intercourse, I do not uh, sing. Uh, no, I didn't uh, watch that. Things that sound like Latin hymnals. Uh, I guess that was a comment bro guy made that it sounded like a yeah, Latin hymnal. Um, I understand about the testosterone thing. I have to take a smidgen of it myself. I'm over. I'm two months overdue. I haven't taken it. I've been neglecting it. I take a smidgen to help with energy and other things because I've had a hysterectomy. Your home hormones get really thrown out of balance. And they give me hormones for that. Two different types. A smidgen of testosterone and another type. And it works when I use it, but I neglect it. I've been neglecting it. And that's probably why I've been feeling like crap here lately. I've really been neglecting my self care. All the little things. And I'm going to be more on top of it. I'm going to have him give me my tea shot tonight. So, and I'm going to start using my other hormones. Because if I don't, I'm just going to be tired.
That's what it does for me. It gives me energy and it makes me feel better. And it keeps the hot flashes away. Well, the arms appear up, so I cross over. <sighs> I am very excited about vacation. You all this tend to think. Make better decisions in the future, okay. Your actions during the weekend may be considered accordingly. No, I do feel bad, but uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, Zola. I'm not making fun of size. Okay. I, look, guys, uh, if you all saw something, you saw something, and eventually I will see it. Um, if not, I'm not going to worry about it, but here's the thing. I don't know what was all shown, so I'm not going to sit there. <clears throat> like, here's the thing. It was an, it was an accident. It was an accident. Oh, I, didn't I, had a funny story. I had a funny story. Me and one of my battle buddies, we were headed, we were headed over to the other side of Fob Diamondback for something. I can't even remember what. We were in the Humvee. I was driving. And uh, we got there. And his ACUs were open. His pants were open. And I saw something that looked like a baby bird. Well, you know, I expect somebody to tell me if my fly's open. And the guys tend to free ball over there. And I said, uh, dude, you having a hot dog sale? He goes, no, why? I said, man, I can see your balls. He goes, oh, shit. I said, dude, I have two sons and I've, and I've been married. I've seen nuts before. Trust me, you're like my little brother. Just button your pants. But at the same time, like... You know, is this just going to be another thing that gets held over my head? Or am I going to be able to move on from this? And are we all mature enough to sit there and say, yeah, it was an accident. Let's move on. Probably not, considering uh, the audience that watches me. All right. Uh, see you later. Because we have uh, 30, 40, and 50-year-old men, some 60-year-old men who... Uh, still act like they're in high school. <laughs> and yes, I was tempting fate. I was taunting people. Um, but again, I'm not going to feel sorry about it. You know what, Corky? This is a case of play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You played a stupid game, you won a stupid prize. Now your penis is out there for everybody to fucking see. Hmm. Between the two of us, who doesn't have their naughty bits out there? Hmm. Between the two of us, who hasn't gotten nude on camera? Hmm. Who between the two of us has called the other one a whore? Who's the real whore? That would be you, my pet. But why should I feel bad about it? I know some people want me to feel guilty. There's nothing to feel guilty about. But again, I... Uh, <laughs> I don't know who's looking at it. I'm sure it'll give people some views, I, I guess. Um, I mean, 
Yeah. <clears throat> Corky has a micropene. Corky has a micropene. Corky has a micropene. But I mean, the stream's down. It's not like you can re-report it. So, uh, but if you want to send me what a screenshot of what people saw, then nope. you know, send me that. Right? I don't like you that well. If if people are that interested, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. If people are that interested in replaying a uh, a one second shot of my uh, genitalia or pubes, um, then I would really, really worry about them psychologically and emotionally. And also, as far as size, <clears throat> people have all kinds of different sizes. Guys have all kinds of different sizes. <clears throat> and the thing of it is, like, a woman's um, vaginal canal, only the first three inches really have any sensitivity. And any longer than, like, six inches, you could be doing you could be causing a woman a lot of pain. Just like interviews of like uh, porn stars and other women, and they talk about how like if the guy is okay. like a awesome. certain oh length, um, she has to really worry about the positioning and you know the positioning, the force, all this other stuff. If the guy is you know six inches, seven inches she can just kind of relax and, you know, do the scene. But I'm not going to sit there, you know, and that's, that's kind of the thing, you know. <clears throat> Why are you talking about how much pain she can take? And Jules says, keep in mind, water shrinks your wee-wee. Yeah, of course she would say that. Way to be supportive. Um, you willingly did this. Willingly. Didn't realize you made a mistake until it, what in your, what in your brain made you think this was a good idea? What in your brain made you think this was a good idea? Hey, John, I got something I want to show you. Is it long? I got no. Corky has no penis. You can't even see it. What the fuck is going on in that picture? He's in the shower. Uh, his penis should be around in here and his balls and he ain't got one. Hmm. It's a little bitty thing right back here. Okay. And got a little bitty penis. Can you see where the penis is? I thought it was squashed between them two black metal pipes. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Where? You're on it. Here? That's a shower curtain. Oh. And right about here is his tiny little pecker. Oh, okay. That's a little thing. Just thought you'd like to see it. Okay. I share everything with you. Marriage is about sharing. Get that off my screen. 
I share everything with you through my love, through my realm. I love you. Love you too. Have a good night at work. Okay. And I'll be patiently waiting for their call. Oh, okay. Hey. What? Tell them I've stopped. I've stopped using pot. Okay. If they ask me. You have to ask me. Don't make it known. Oh, I didn't tell nobody. Okay. Later. See you later. Hey, do you know if you work this weekend? Probably, but I don't know. Okay, hopefully you don't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man. Hey, I drink more water. You know, back in the day, um, you know, like, if you look at, like, ancient Greece, uh, small genitalia was considered a sign of nobility and that the gods favored you. Uh, Oh, little dick was just a sign that you had a little dick. Look, you're going to show your shit off and be proud of it. Be proud you got a tiny dick. See, I got a tiny dick, so what? Be like me. I got a fat ass, so what? Yeah, my ass is fat. So what? See? See, you got to be more confident. Because you were more than just an animal. If you had large genitalia, well, then you were just an animal. So it's interesting how, you know, things change. It's like back in the Middle Ages, you know, very large women, uh, if you were obese, you were uh, thought very highly of because... You know, simple fact, you knew you, you knew where the food was, right? You were very resourceful. You know, you weren't going to starve to death. And if you had children, it made those be to live because you were healthy enough to nurse them. Yes. I'm not going to go into the evolution of the penis. But I will say, because I have heard, I do know how the penis has evolved and why it is shaped the way it is and all of that. Yes, I did. I have watched a documentary about it, a sex doc. I've watched a lot of sex docs that explain all this shit. But you couldn't be more off base if you tried that's why you see a lot of these uh a lot of the depictions of midwives are of a uh, large rotund women um because the idea is well if you're obese that must mean that you're you know doing very well at this thing called surviving anywho i am getting close to the old people's house and i promise I, oh my goodness, I'm sure Sabella will have something to say, but it's going to be private to me and me alone. Um, we are going to be doing more vacation bids, trip bids, all that other kind of stuff, so stay tuned. Unlike your penis that you shared with the entire YouTubes? Tuned. Until then, uh, I'll see y'all and uh, love your body. I love my body. Love your own. <laughs> micropene, 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 micropene.
Okay, let's see if we can find this uh, video that he did. Uh, I'm not finding that video. And he was, this was just four short months ago. So, me and uh, Sabella are here at Olive Garden. Which is a gourmet restaurant to them. And we were thinking earlier about how Terry and Michael are absolutely rocking the shit out of the review community, the call that community. So many of those who thought they were contenders ended up being nothing more than uh, losers. So that said, you know, we and Sibella wish to say, we wish to say, Carrie Crew, Uh, who, 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 Carrie, you're talking about Carrie's crew. Carrie's crew. We're at the Olive Garden. We are eternal. We are forever. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and by the way, Carrie, my gold, rock on! <laughs> And he got mad just because, yeah, he does. And he got mad just because she disagreed with him. I don't get mad when people disagree with me. I just don't. It's stupid. I don't get mad when people correct me. I'm glad when people correct me because that means I won't get it wrong again. Corky is a little bastard. He's a little bastard with a small penis that's angry at the world. He's angry at the world. He wants to make an assertion that I'm angry at the world. I'm not. I find a lot of good still in the world. I mean, I don't have an audience full of people that jeer at me. Quite to the contrary. We have a loving group here. Whether there's 40, 50, or 5. And I can't express my appreciation enough for all of you. How much I love all of you. And when I got to feeling better, I wanted to put together a stream for you. And when I found out that Corky had shown his pain, I knew I could make something special out of it and give y'all lots of laughs.
Hey, you too, UPS guy. <laughs> well said, UPS guy. Now, I want to thank everybody that came out and saw me today. You guys rock. I don't care if you're here for 10 minutes, 10 seconds, or the whole thing. Well, you know what, guys? Y'all make it easy. Y'all make it so easy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. You know why? Well, do you? It's because nobody else will. Now y'all take care. And I will see you in the next one. If I'm feeling, if I'm feeling pretty good, I will have you, I'll have morning coffee with you tomorrow. Bye.